Flight training is a complicated science and a field that is constantly evolving. You can train pilots in a flight simulator, or you can do it in a real airplane. Where a flight simulator is safe, flexible, and relatively inexpensive to deploy, it lacks realism. On the other hand, live training, while ideal for many reasons, has greater risk, is expensive, and time-consuming. For Tom Schnell's team at the Operator Performance Laboratory, the future of flight training may lie in harnessing the best of both worlds. We actually don't try to make flight simulators be more and more like the airplane. In fact, we are trying to make airplanes become, in addition to being airplanes, also flight simulators. The system Tom's group is developing uses a relatively new model known as Live Virtual Constructive. Live in that it is a real airplane, virtual referring to the simulators, and constructive to describe the game-like environment in which these components interact. This airplane flies around in airspace here in Iowa. In the back seat of that airplane is a cockpit, a crew station that is essentially a simulator, a flight simulator that flies along with the real airplane. In conjunction with this flying flight simulator, the lab has a control station and several ground-based flight simulators. All of the assets are connected by data link, allowing them to collaborate in unison in a simulated mission. What we're trying to accomplish is mimic everything that you would see in a real airplane as you would fly it in theater. So you might be in a real airplane flying in Iowa, but actually what the pilot uh, operating the, the backseat controls would see would be a, a scenario in, in California flying through the Mojave Desert or, or mountain ranges out there. The live virtual constructive project is supported by Rockwell Collins, who partner with the Operator Performance Lab for research and development. We need to balance uh, how much traditional uh, development we do, how much traditional science we do, and uh, how much disruptive technologies we investigate. And that means that we go and look for something very untraditional. Schnell's simulation research is innovative in that it focuses quality of training using various human metrics. We're not just trying to build a fancy simulator involving a real airplane, but we're actually unique in the sense that we measure physiological and neurocognitive signals on the pilot while that pilot is performing a simulated mission in the real airplane. With those, we've developed algorithms that take that information and give us a sense of how high the pilot's workload is, uh, how stressed, how fatigued the pilot is. Um, and with that, we have a better sense of what's going on with the pilot, and we're able to better design the, the machine around that to better suit the pilot's needs. Live Virtual Constructive is just one of the many innovative projects at the Operator Performance Lab, which applies human factors research to design and evaluate a wide array of transportation systems. Academically, I think this is a very unique program in that it involves undergraduate students, graduate students, and staff uh, all working on, on a relatively challenging goal. We have to learn how to work with uh, some real serious constraints, and students who perform well in this uh, type of environment will have no problem finding uh, positions that uh, will satisfy them for, for a lifetime of uh, engineering-related work. While live virtual constructive is promising, Schnell says their research is still evolving. There's a lot of work ahead of us. Clearly the systems that we have are research systems. They are not necessarily based on real avionics. And as we start to learn how you make a flying flight simulator in essence, that will eventually be migrated to real avionics that can be installed in real airplanes. And, and of course that's why uh, we collaborate with Rockwell Collins. The world is becoming more virtual. And our next step is to create these virtual environments, to create these game-like environments, not just for a single pilot, but to create a complete solution so you can train multiple people, you can close the gap between the real world and, and, and the simulator world. I would say that we are at the very beginning of an emerging subject matter area called life virtual constructive simulation and training. While the Operator Performance Lab is a hard-working group, it's clear these engineers and pilots enjoy what they do. I, I really enjoy the, the scientific aspect of being able to develop something new that hasn't been done before, um, so I, f I find that to be quite exciting. Obviously, the Jet's an awesome platform. Um, how many people get to work on something like that? Um, so we have many different aircraft that we, that we use, so it's, it's been a very exciting um, research area for me. As, as much as it's a research platform, it's also a lot of fun to sit in the back. 
getting to go fly in this jet is it's a unique opportunity that you don't really get to do I, that I can think of anywhere else. I'm a pilot, so to me, any time spent in a cockpit is sort of not deducted from your lifespan. The preceding program was produced by the University of Iowa in association with the Big Ten Network.